Hello everyone, it's Jill here and welcome to my craft. Today I'm going to be making some ATC coins. I'm going to do four and I'm going to be using some little paper embellishments that I made in one of my earlier videos so you can catch up with how to do those if you'd like to take a look. If not, I'm sure you've got plenty of stuff in your little craft kit that you can use. So I'm going to start with um, distress inks i've chosen a limited palette um, so i've got some dried marigold mustard seed crushed olive salty ocean and some forest moss just to edge round so let's start with a bit of coloring let's pull that in a bit And a little bit of mustard seed. Lovely and bright yellow mustard seed. Love that. Uh, I'm going to make them all lovely and colourful still. Um, crushed olive. That's quite a yellow type green, this one. Salty ocean. Oh, quite bright. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> a bit on this one. Let's blend them in. Until you get the look that you want. There we go, I think. And obviously you get extra colours where you mix them together. And a bit more yellow that side, I think. Don't know what's going on there, I've got something on it, but that'd be okay, we'll cover that over later. A bit more of the dried marigold on this one, I think. Oops. Yeah, maybe a bit more yellow on this one. Blend that in. There. Brilliant. So that's those done. So I said I'm going to use the forest screen for edging in a moment. Let's put those out of the way. And I'm going to stencil over just to take a little bit of the ink off with a little tiny dots stencil. And I'm going to use just a wet wipe for that. Those off just adds a bit of interest to the background. There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but the little it's lifted a bit of the ink off. Let's go with this one again. Quite random, which is quite nice. A bit down here, a little bit here. 
we need to take a bit more off of this one. Turn that over. Looks better. Lovely. So now that's done, I'm just going to give them a quick um, quick blast of the heat gun. So I'm just going to do a little bit of stamping on these in a moment. Lovely. Right, so I've got a little, little stamp here. It's got little numbers and things all over it. Um, trying to keep everything quite small. I don't want to overpower the image. I'm going to put on in a minute all the card because they're quite small. They're only two and a half inches around these. Uh, let's take a little bit off. That's better. And then I'll just stamp a bit here. Lovely. Maybe a little bit down here. Sorry, I've just knocked my camera again. <gasps> oh dear, there we go. Bit of randomness, there we go. done those. Let's move that out of the way and I think I'll just do the edgings. Just makes doing an edging just finish it off make it pop a bit more. I think I will just um, give them a tiny bit more heat just to make sure it's all set. Brilliant. Right, so for my first one, I've chosen a butterfly. And uh, there's a couple of little butterflies here. Now, these have come from the Tim Holtz ephemera pack. And this is one that I did from the Brightly Coloured Embellishments video. And maybe a number. Let's just go with that. Lay it out how you think you'd like it to go before you stick. Okay, so let's go with this one then. So I'm going to use a mixture of my pin flare glue and some others. So for the moment, stick him down there. That one probably needs to go flat underneath. So we'll just get a bit of wool stick. It's lovely this glue. Again, it's from the pin flare company. That one down there. Maybe the happiness word can go for that. Just 
feel for Anakin on this one. So I've got a bit of glue on this that's squished out around the edges. So I think what I'll do is just cover it over by bringing that butterfly in a bit closer. And then my little flower, which I've cut out of one of the scraps that I had when I made the background paper for the colourful embellishments. And I'll come back to that in a minute to finish that one off. And the next one, I chose one of the bird cages that I did as well. So I'm just going to pop that one down there and cut this piece off in a moment. It's quite a lot of glue comes out of this nozzle. It's quite a big nozzle. It's the only problem with it. There. A little bird. Give him a bit of pin flare just to stand him up a little bit. And then this little this little piece here is from the Tim Holtz ephemera. And this little one was punched out of the um, leftover from the colourful papers that we made. Just pop that there. I'm just going to set that aside to dry and then I'll come back and we'll, we'll trim off and we'll do the uh, finishing touches, if you like. Um, I have more of what I did with the paper embellishments here. This was the poison bottles. Which one does that look better on? I think I might do this on this one here. So I've got the bottle, got a little sign that says salt of lemons. That's from the ephemera pack, 15 cents. You pop that underneath there, I think. And then a little little metal charm I've got, which I uh, put a little bit of string through, basically to denote that that's the medicine cabinet. <laughs> so let's go with that then. Oops, gets a bit stringy. Oh, I've just got that little bit of glue come out there again. Yeah. I'll just wipe that off. That's better. There we go. Just give that bit of dimension. Put that there. So this one needs to go down next, basically. Yep, needs to go underneath. Mm 
And this one's probably going to have to go down here now. Right, let's just trim that string off. Sometimes it's a bit fiddly trying to find somewhere that you can actually glue that's not going to show. But here we go. Pop that just there. And again, that's got a little bit of glue squished out. So I just got a little cocktail stick to try and lift out the overspill. There we go. Set that to dry again, and then I'll trim it all back down. So just got the one left now then and um, found a little image from i think do believe this is from a crafty individuals um pad so i'm going to trim that down a moment there we go and put that one there and these little pieces that came from the paper embellishments that I made and I found some bunting just add a bit of pizzazz and a bit of action right so let's go with our little people first To there. Well, I thought this looked a bit like a film action <laughs> type thing. So is that a bit there? Let me give it a little bit of pin flare on these. There we go. Just move that one away a bit. So that's that one. I'm just going to set them, that one aside to dry and come back to my butterflies. Just make sure they've had a bit of a chance to uh, for the glue to self set. And need to finish them all off now with, with their finer touches. I've got some stickles for this one. I think I'm just going to do the little body just make sure these are working that's it and some orange stickles two three and there and again just might pop that just in the center of the flower So that I think just about finishes that one off. It's really pretty. I like that. And then uh, let's come back to my little special delivery bird cage. Turn it over. Turn it off. And I think possibly a little bead or something in the middle of that one would look quite nice. Um on the knife. Glue's still a bit wet, but there we are. You get the idea of that one. Sometimes it's just little finishing touches that just bring the your project to life. This one, turn that over, trim that off. So I think that one looks quite nice as it is. I don't think I will put anything else on there. 
pull that one finished. And then this one, turn it over, trim off. And I've got some sequins. I thought they would be quite nice actually. Let's go with those. Just use what you have in your kits. Just finishes things off nicely. Let's go in there. Turn them a bit like that, I think. good oops <laughs> always a fiddle sequence <laughs> there we go let's do this on the bit of one two three so we're just going to tackle that little bit of hole in the sequence in a minute because I don't like holy sequins. We'll dry clear this glue. Still not the same. Um, and I've got some blue stickles this time. If they work. You always get one, don't you, that never works. <laughs> right, just unblock that. I'll see if we can unblock them. Sorry, I've knocked my camera again. There we go. If you can get that unblocked. No, it doesn't want to play ball that one. Let's go with I've got some gold here. Let's see if that's playing. Yep, that's playing. Hmm, it was a minute ago. <laughs> there we go. But it doesn't want to do it now. <laughs> oh, there we go. As I said, this, this will all dry in in a minute. That's better. Maybe in there. Maybe just do a few more. A few more uh, dots around the bottom. That's better, that finishes that off really lovely. So, there we go. So we have our live action heroes. We've got our medicine bottles. Our bird cage. And our butterflies. So, hope you like that. Hope that's given you some sort of inspiration. If you like it, please subscribe and tune in later for more of my videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.